What is not a reasonable estimate of the physical property indicated? So these kind of estimate questions, when they do come around, it's a lot of wild guessing, especially we have never known, we don't know what these values are in our daily life. So the first one says this two, uh, two kilowatts for the power dissipated by heating element of an electric kettle. If you have never seen electric kettle, go and Google it, go to your house if you have one, Take up the kettle and look what is the power rating. So for this kind of electrical appliances, usually it's about the order of 10 to the 3 watts, or in other words, the kilowatt range. 2 kilowatt, 3 kilowatt. So this one seems still okay, <clears throat> maybe. Second one says, volume of water in a swimming pool. How on earth are we supposed to know the swimming pool size? Uh, you could estimate by doing some calculations. Let's say the pool is about 50 meters wide, which is the standard, I guess, for common people, not Olympic swimming pool. Height. When I go in a pool, I'm probably going to be like drowning. So maybe four meters ish. Oh, sure. Let's do that. And then the width. I don't know. Choose a width. <laughs> Just a width of a swimming pool here. And we'll see roughly what we get. I think we'll choose. Okay. Hmm. Maybe three people can stretch out their arms like that, side to side. Three meters? Two meters? Let's do two meters. It's a small home pool. So that would give me a volume of about 400 meters cubed if I use these assumptions of a small home pool. They didn't say Olympic size swimming pool, so you just gotta imagine how many people can fit inside a pool back and forth. Okay, so 400 seems... Oh my! We are... On point, 400 is about 10 to the power of 2 for standard human swimming pool, not the public huge pools, okay? C says, momentum of a lorry down a road. How fast is this lorry going? They didn't say highway, they said road. So I will choose... Hmm, let's calculate the momentum. P equals to MV. The mass of a lorry, a one-ton lorry, one-ton, roughly 1,000 kg. Definitely can fit a lot of humans on the lorry. How fast is it going? Let's just choose 10 meters per second. Um, you can convert this to kilometers per hour. This is about 36 kilometers per hour. I use my calculator to check. Should be about right for a normal road. You can't go too fast, you can't go too slow. So if I use this rough estimates, this would be about... How many zeros is this? Four zeros, one times 10 to the four. Newton's second. A uh, Newton's second. So our answer here is 10 to the 5. Probably going a bit faster. Okay, eh, not exactly the same value, but close enough, possibly. The last one. 600 Newton for the weight of a fully grown racehorse. Okay, <clears throat> this one is a bit hard. Like, how, <laughs> how do you know how heavy is a racehorse? We don't know. But do you know how heavy you are? Average human is about a human... Weight is, wait, that goes mg, uh, 70 kg, 80 kg, times 9.81. Let's do a quick check of what this would be. So this would be about 785 Newton. Now here you have a problem. They say 600 Newton for a horse. Human and horse, same weight. No, 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 human is much lighter. So this is the most suspicious one is. This, I don't think humans go much heavier than this. So horses cannot be lighter than humans. So I think this is the most suspicious. And we'll go with D. And that's pretty much how you can estimate. Hope you know more about the world or you just pick some numbers and go with it. All right.